You've answered this question a million times, but we have to get to the bottom of it. You wrote that song about Dave Coulier from Full House? People talk about who that song's about, and they will continue to, and I never I never confirm or affirm who it's about, and I never will. You're kidding me. Well, I say never, and I sh- really shouldn't say never, because I may very well one day do it, but... You've I, never revealed... Who, how did his name even come up? Do you know that guy? You dated him. Yeah, you, I did date you, you him. You dated him. Yes, I did. Aha! So, when did Dave Coulier, when did you start dating him? I was 19. 19. I was singing at an all-star hockey game. I was doing the national anthem, and he was playing. Ah. And you were that worked up about him that you'd write a song? I feel it is about him. You know who told me? Who Who? told you? Stamos. John Stamos told me. Yeah, he Ah. told me that, too. Ah. Ah. The thing is, there was no one in the studio when I wrote that song, so no one actually knows. And not that I'm just doing it gratuitously for the sake of mystery, but I didn't write it with the intention of recriminating him. It was what it was. Yeah. You know, we dated and she was writing all of that jagged little pill stuff during that time. And and I never saw this, you know, angry white girl thing that she's, you know, that people have kind of coined her as. I never saw that. She was funny. She was sweet. She was super intelligent, super talented. Um so I never, I never saw that, but when people would, you know, that was 95 when Jagged Little Pill came out, and uh, I started, here's the story. I'm driving in Detroit, and I've got my radio on, and I hear the hook for You Ought to Know, come on the radio, and I'm like, wow, this is a really cool hook. And then I start hearing the voice, I'm like, wow, this girl can sing. And I had no idea, you know, that, that this was the record. And hey, I uh, gave someone a cross. And then I, <laughs> and then I was like, uh, I'm listening to the lyrics going, ooh, oh, no. Oh, I can't be this guy. And I went to the record store, bought the CD, and I went and I parked on a street and I listened to the whole record. And there was a lot of familiar stuff in there that her and I had talked about, like your, your shake is like a fish. You know, I'd go, hey, dead fish me, you know, and we'd do this dead fish handshake. And and so I started listening to it and I thought, ooh, I think I may have really hurt this woman. And that was my first thought. And so years later, we reconnected and uh, she couldn't have been sweeter. And I said, what do you want me to say when people ask me about this relationship? And she said, you can say whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 